Okay, I wanted to uh, show you a little item that I made uh, to put in my uh, mill. It uh, basically turns the mill into a plotter and I can trace the part. All I've done is make this pin and I've loaded this with a spring. All this is is a refill uh, that you can buy anywhere. And what I do is I go ahead and uh, <coughs> raise the the uh, raise the bed until I engage the uh, ink cartridge and bring it up about a sixteenth of an inch. And what that does is that keeps pressure on the paper. It, let's say the surface is a little uneven. So now what I'm going to do is load the uh, program. <laughs> and uh, um, okay, the program is loaded, and uh, you'll see it'll trace the part, and it's it's very uh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I'm getting feedback in the uh, camera from the uh, from the mill because the servos are on. Well, I'll do the best I can. Okay, it's uh, rolling, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the program. And you can see if everything is right, it will. Uh, What this is, is the spring arm, and I'm just getting the shape so I can compare it to make sure that it's correct. And then I can take this uh, plot and compare it to the part, and if it's correct, then, then it's fine. Okay, it's got the picture, so... That's all I wanted to show you. It's a handy, it's a handy little device that uh, fits in, uh, fits in the uh, chuck. I have a, um, it'll fit into a, a three eighths of an inch or a half inch collet, and uh, that's all it is. It's uh, fairly easy to make, but. Anytime I want to check something uh, before I actually cut, I can actually get the true shape with that. I uh, take the computer off of it. In other words, there's no offsets. It uh, travels right on the line of the item. Then, of course, when I want to cut, and then I program in an offset depending on the diameter of the cutter. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you, so there you go.